<laughs> you sound really good. Really? Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Your voice is really good. Mine's, mine's kind of like this. <laughs> when I hear it, it seems like it to me. <laughs> they, have you heard his voice? Yes. Yeah, he's born for radio. Mm -hmm. I have one of the voices, even when you record it on a tape recorder or, or like on an answering machine, it seems like it's way up here. <laughs> Sometimes we'll do a break and they have to repeat the information. So mm -hmm. I like when we got a lot of content yeah. that just flows straight through. And then what's your last name? Price. P R I C E. Okay. And then when I do the introductions, I'll just have each give the listeners what your title is and what you do. Ron, can I see more? Okay. We are your digital radio station in the Cedar Valley and Northeastern Side. Like the windows are the last night. Snow points. Freezing. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Now, why do you got a scratchy throat like yeah. you said? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Opening Doors. I'm your host, Warren Wardle, the manager for the Martin Luther King Junior Center of Hawkeye Community College. We have a great show with a lot of content lined up for you this morning. But before we get into the show and introduce our guests, I do want to let you know about some opportunities that are available at the Martin Luther King Junior Center of Hawkeye Community College. We now offer compass testing. So for those of you who are interested in taking the compass test, you can give us a call at 319 296 4440 and hit extension 2 for Ms. Latanya Graves and she can give you more information on compass testing as well as get you scheduled for compass testing. And alongside the compass testing we also offer the Compass Preparatory Academic Lab which was which is a tutoring program that helps you work in reading, writing, and math and prepare for the compass or in order to improve your compass scores. We also offer nurse aid classes and rehabilitation aid classes so if you're interested in getting your first taste of the health sciences field, you can give us a try at the Martin Luther King Center at 319-296-4440. We also offer concurrent enrollment opportunities for high school students that are interested in obtaining college credit while attending high school. If you're interested in learning more about concurrent enrollment or you're a high school student or the parent of a high school student, you can talk to your high school counselor or you can give us a call at 319 296-4440. In the studio with us this morning, we have Ms. Rachel Evans. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. We also have Ms. Celeste Turner. Good morning, Celeste. Good morning. And last but not least, we also have Mr. Dale Price. Good morning, Dale. Good morning. Well, first of all, I want to uh, want you to each share with the listeners what your title is and what you do for the college. So with that being said, I'll start with you, Rachel. Hi, good morning, good morning. Um, I'm Rachel Evans, and I am the coordinator of the Career Services Center on Hawkeye's campus. So a little bit of what we do in career services is kind of your one-stop shop for everything career-related. So we can assist with possibly helping you find a career path that would fit you, and we help with the job search um, and all the things that that entails, including helping with resumes, cover letters, uh, interviewing skills, and um, making connections with employers. Fantastic. And Celeste? I am the coordinator out of the Regional Transportation Trucking Center uh, where we help people get their CDL. We also have a heavy equipment, women and minorities training. Uh, we also do motorcycle out there. And uh, I'm basically the coordinator there. Fantastic. And Dale? Um, I'm an instructor at the college. I take care of the heavy equipment, women and minorities. Uh, program that we've got. I take care of the CEO, which is construction equipment operations. It's another equipment operating program we have. Uh, I do teach the trucking CDL class A, and I'm also a 
DOT certified tester. Oh, wow. Fantastic. All righty. Well, thank you all for being on the show this morning. And so, first of all, uh, Dale, you mentioned uh, something about the uh, CDL, which is a very popular uh, topic that we get called about at the Martin Luther King Jr. Center. Uh, tons of people call us about that all the time. And then, so, unless you mentioned the uh, heavy equipment operators program, and that is something that we're really starting to see a lot of uh, people come in and ask about. And then, uh, Rachel, one of the huge things that people come in and request from us is where can we go to get resumes? So it's perfect that you're all here this morning. So um, first of all, uh, Celeste, can you talk a little bit about that uh, heavy equipment operators uh, program? Yes, it's free. As long as you qualify, it's a 10-day heavy equipment operator for women and minorities. Uh, the DOT has, Iowa DOT has supplied us to pay for all of this training. Uh, what the person's going to come out of in those 10 days, they're going to come out with an OSHA safety training card and a flagger certificate. Plus, they're going to get the certificate from Hawkeye Community College. But they're going to get to try some of this equipment, get a good taste of it to see if they like it, if they want to make a career of this. Um, it's just a nice place to start. If you've ever wanted to try anything with heavy equipment, this is a wonderful place to start. And then you mentioned uh, the cost, which is free. Mm -hmm. That is fantastic. So, and so the only commitment really someone would have to put forth is what, a 10-day commitment? Yes, the 10-day commitment. They have to be there for the full 10 days. And they have to qualify okay. to be into the heavy equipment, women and minorities. But all they have to do is commit the 10 days and they cannot miss a day. Wow, you can't beat that. You can't beat that at all. And then you said they uh, come out there with a certificate. Um, is that recognized across the country or just in this area? The OSHA safety training card is recognized all over. Uh, but the flagger certificate, Dale, is that just for Iowa? The flagger is just for Iowa, yes. Okay. And then, um, Rachel, I suppose someone that completes a program like that could come over to your shop and get help with a resume, find out about uh, any career fairs or anything. Can you share a little bit about what goes on with it? Absolutely. So again, like I mentioned earlier, we do help, you know, with like this wonderful certification and cards. They can definitely come and see me and we can add that to their resume and help them if they're applying for jobs. If they need a little extra assistance, they can certainly come into our office and, and utilize. We've got a little bank of computers that they can use to come in and if they need to do online applications or anything like that, they're more than welcome to come in and seek our assistance. The DOT also has a website for job postings after oh. this is a DOT, after the DOT is basically putting the money up forward on this, they have a website that they can go on to too to find jobs. Okay. And now, they can come and see us to do that. There you go. <laughs> now, uh, I had a young lady in yesterday that uh, she's going to be coming out to your shop to update her resume. And the one thing she had a big fear of, she said, you know, I'm not good with you know computers and you know so will there be help to help me even navigate around yes we do definitely navigate uh, it is um, somewhat a self-service though we want them to get the practice and to ex explore but we are definitely there to help and and guide them through the process and if they have questions absolutely fantastic and then you have some uh, activities coming up. I see you brought some information on that. Did you want to share some? Yes, we do actually. Uh, next Wednesday, March 25th, we are holding our Spring Career Fair. Uh, this is one of our bigger events on campus for the Career Services Center. Um, and that is going to be held from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. at the Health Education and Services Center on Hawkeye's main campus in Waterloo. There are going to be about 58 employers present that day. And um, this event is open to students, alumni, and community members. So all are welcome to attend. And uh, employers will be looking for full-time, part-time, and internship opportunities. Now, uh, for the career fair on March 25th, what is the uh, attire? Attire, you always want to dress to impress is the phrase that is used a lot. So you definitely want to show the employers and you want to make a good first impression. Okay. So you want to, you know, a nice pair of pants. And a nice, a nice pair of uh, dress slacks, and just you know, put your best foot forward that day. Now, at events like this, um, do people sometimes walk away uh, 
with the job offer, or do they get interviewed on the spot sometimes? There is potential to do um, on the spot job offers. That is up to the employers if they'd like to do that. But it's a great way to make that first connection with the employers. Okay. Well, we have a caller that oh. we're going to uh, bring we on here right now. Looks like they hung up. Oh, looks, looks, looks like sorry. we lost the caller. Uh, if they call back, we'll uh, take a question from one of the callers. Um, now, again, that career fair is on the main campus at the Health Education and Services, Services Center. Mm -hmm. um, is there a cost at all? There is no charge. It is completely free. There's no registration involved. Uh, people who want to attend can just show up that day. And then do they need to bring anything with them? It would be recommended if they do have a good resume to put together, that would be fantastic to bring with them. Okay. That way, if they have interest in talking to certain employers, they can leave their information with the employers that day. Fantastic. Now, I've talked to some people that have attended those uh, career fairs that we've had on main campus, and they really loved it. And uh, I think it'll continue to grow, you know, um, because people have said that, you know, I've heard people say that, They've gotten interviews on the spot. I've heard a lot of people say that they've actually gotten employment by attending those. So, yes. that, you know, word of mouth travels Absolutely fast. Absolutely, sure <laughs> does. <laughs> it sure does. And then, Celeste, is there uh, some additional information you want to share about things going on in your area? In my area? Yes. Out at the Regional Transportation Center? Yes. We also have the Skid Monster out there. Uh, now, what's that? The Skid Monster is a car that has basically Go for it, Dale. It's a defensive driving train. Oh, what it goes. So it, it mimics if you were out on slippery or icy roads, we can control how to keep control of that vehicle as it's going down the highway. And we do all this right on the range out there at the RTTC. So we teach how to maneuver one way or maneuver another way to keep control of that vehicle. That's fantastic. Plus, we're going to have some classes coming later on this year, uh, telescopic platform lift. So if they like the heavy equipment, they can get into more specialized training, is what we're hoping for. Oh, wow. And we're going to have another flagger cert certification class. So if they miss the 10-day and they want to become a certified flagger, they can take that class. And we also have... Oh, wow. I can't remember the name of it. It's like a telehandler. It's it's the like the all-terrain or rough-terrain forklift. And the telescopic platform and the and the telehandler both have certificates that we can give out when they get completed. So those are going to be little courses that we're going to try to add on. Every year we're going to try to add a couple more little things on like that. Now, can a person complete that 10-day program and come back and obtain some additional... Oh, yes. that's fantastic. Yes, that's what we're planning on. That's what we're hoping for anyway. Now, um, I've had a lot of people really uh, benefit from the flagger certificate program because um, some people that had prior experience doing flagger work said that they were able to get flagger work easier if they had actually, you know, gone once they've gone through that program. Um, they said it seemed like, you know, they kind of had preferential you know, uh, looks at their information, you know, once they saw that they actually had some training on it versus just coming in without the training. And so is that something you experience as well? Yeah, Dale's going to be our instructor on that. Oh, fantastic. I'll actually be the instructor teaching that class, so that way when they get done, they'll have a certificate that they can carry with them and show. Fantastic. Um, now, will anyone get any experience on bulldozers? Yes, we, we have bulldozer and we have... Uh, excavators, we have backhoes, uh, mini excavators, we have skid loaders, so we're pretty well covered with what we need to teach. Fantastic. Okay, it looks like our caller has called back in. We're going to have our caller come in. Good morning, caller. Do you have a question? Yes, I was just calling. Um, I took that, um, that class, the heavy equipment class, back in seven, eight, nine, eight, 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 eight,
fantastic. Thank you for sharing that, caller. All right, you're welcome. Have a blessed day. You too. Dale has a story on that. Can you share with us, Dale? Uh, you mean the young lady we had? Yeah. We had a young lady that was, I think it was two classes ago last year that we had, and I helped train her along with another instructor and stuff, but she just fell right into place. It was like she was born on a mini excavator. We had her picking up little rocks and put them in a pile, and when she, she just practiced all the time, and that was fantastic, because that's what we encourage is, is you know, the only way you're going to get good, really, I could talk about it all day long, but to be in seat time is that's what counts. And when she got her little pile of rocks made, she could actually pick them rocks off one by one without disturbing the rest of the pile and put them down. And when the end of her 10-day came up, she actually got a job with PCI, and she was making some very good money when wow. she left. And you make that sound so fun. I'm sitting here thinking... Yeah, I want to try that. <laughs> it, it really is. A couple years ago, we had one gal. It was freezing rain, and it was really cold outside. And she'd come out of the women's restroom, and she was just drenched. She went in there to wipe dry off a little bit. She'd come out, and she says, this is so much fun. She was just having a ball. <laughs> that is fantastic. And, you know, that's a, you know, one of the things I like to mention every show, and I think this is a perfect segue into it. Hawkeye Community College has a way of gauging assessing the community needs and then finding programming to meet those needs or building it from the ground up. Would you agree? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Well, and there's people looking for heavy equipment operators so much. Uh, we, he had a call last week. Go for it. Oh, they were looking for a person. When they set up, it's basically like the flagger, when they get the cones all set up and everything, they have a, uh, somebody that will drive a car around, and if, if another uh, vehicle knocks a cone over, all they do is drive around and pick the cone back up, and then at nighttime they drive around make sure everything is secure, and their wages are like $25 an hour just for driving a car picking up yes. cones that's been fall, that have been tipped over. So. And they're looking for people to do that. And there's, that's just one of the kind of jobs that's out there that, you know, you know with their flagger training, I'm sure... They could, they could make some pretty good money doing that. So I guess I'm going to get my application in right away. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. And, you know, it comes at a, a great time because, you know, um, as we all know, you know, with the economy, a lot of people ended up losing jobs and things and maybe have been in one position for, you know, all their life. So now they have an opportunity to go obtain a new skill, not have to spend, you know, two or four years in school to obtain that skill and still make really good money, you know, just a, a matter of, you know, so many days or, or you know, at best, you know, so many weeks, and then you have this new skill you can take with you, and you just can't beat that. I would like to say, you know, that, that when the caller called in, she uh, mentioned that she was scared to run a piece of machinery. I don't never want none of my students to be scared. If, if that's the way they feel, I want to make sure that they know that I'm going to be right by their side so there's not going to be any danger. Yes. So I'm going to be there telling them what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. So they're comfortable with that machine. The next thing they know, they're going to be doing things without even thinking about it. They, they won't have to have my assistance. But I never want none of my students to be afraid because they're, I'm always going to be there to help them. And, you know, I've talked to some students that have come out of your program, and that's something that they mentioned. They said, you know, going into it is something I wanted to do, but I was a little scared. And the instructors out there made me feel comfortable. And so one student in particular um, didn't think, you know, he was smart enough to do anything, you know, besides maybe something minimal wage-wise. He was saying, you know, I can't go to school without obtain any other skills, so, you know, I'm living on my choices. And, you know, I'll talk to them until, you know, hey, give it a try. We have really good instructors at Hawkeye that will work with you, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. And he did that, and now he has a very good job. And, you know, it gave him the opportunity to, you know, relocate and, I mean, He's got a nice house now and makes really good money, so he comes back to Waterloo at times and treats all his friends and everything. And so it's all, you know, thanks to the programs at Hawkeye and the instructors out there and administrators that make sure our students feel comfortable and confident. And then, um, Rachel, out at your shop, can you give us a, a, a rundown of all the services that you do offer? Absolutely. So, again, we help with, you know, maybe if you're 
somebody might be kind of exploring options and seeing what things might be interesting for them or want to see what options are even out there because there's a lot of occupations out there that people aren't aware of. Yes. You know, we kind of tend to be a little, all of us sometimes tend to be a little narrow, not narrow-minded, but just certain yeah, occupations. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a tunnel, exactly. Uh, so this is a good way to explore different options to see what else is out there, things that might you might be interested in. Uh, so we do have different career assessments that people can, then can take this assessment to see where their interests lie and see what occupations might be a good fit for them. And then from there, like I said, we do um, assist in the job search. So if someone is looking for a particular position or certain areas that are hiring, we will sit down and help them explore and navigate different websites. Um, every job that comes through our office, we actually have an online job board that um, all that information gets posted to. So we can assist with that. Um, and the website for that, and this is again something that's open to everyone, uh, the website is www collegecentral.com slash Hawkeye College. And once you go on there, anyone can register, and then like I said, every position that comes through our office, employers will post jobs on that website. Uh, last year, in 2014, we had about 2,500 jobs wow. that were posted. The majority of them in the Cedar Valley, but we do have some others you know, from different areas as well, because they like Hawkeye, students and graduates and the community so they like to be able to find um, workers through us. That's fantastic. Yes. And you know, um, can you repeat that website again? Absolutely. It's www.collegecentral.com slash Hawkeye College. Great. And then you mentioned uh, assessments and I think that is so important, um, especially assessments that look at interest. Because, like you said, oftentimes we might have our mind fixed that, well, this is probably the only thing I'm interested in or can do. And with uh, working with the career assessments, when I worked for workforce development, one of the things that I thought was super neat with some of those assessment tools is it would bring out interest that you didn't know you had. You know, and then you'd say, you know, yeah, that does make sense because, you know, I am, you know, Good this, I like doing this and this, and so yeah, I never thought about it that exactly. way. Exactly. So do you see that happen? I do, I do. There's you know, some people will come in and take it and it's exactly what they expected. But it gives them different options. So if someone yes. said they like to work with people, mm -hmm. they just automatically assume they have to be a teacher. Yes. Well that's not always the case. So it'll give right. you know, you might be interested in human services, mm -hmm. so it's going to go show some different occupations that let you do that. Or if you're interested in healthcare, you know, there's a lot of different healthcare options that are out there for someone who might be interested in those types of things. Now, um, on occasion, you probably get some people that come in that have an interest in an area in which they need to go back to school and obtain some additional skills. Do you kind of help direct them in, in that situation? We do, we do. So a lot of times we will have people come in and take the assessment first to see where they lie, and then when they decide, oh, I'm really interested in going into this program, then I will refer them to the admissions department and get them, get, kind of get the ball rolling for them to get started to start exploring the programs. And then Celeste and uh, Dale, I don't know if you uh, want to touch on this uh, much at all, but there's a program I know that uh, is, is somewhat similar in that it offers some of the flag and CDO things. I think it's called uh, Highway Construction Training. Now, what we've got right now is the, the CEO, it's the Construction Equipment Operations. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Now, um, we're coming up on like the last maybe four minutes of the show. I want to give you each an opportunity to share again, you know, the programs you have in your area, especially if you have some upcoming, uh, you know, classes about to start or activities. And so with that, I'll start with you, Celeste. Okay, the, the Heavy Equipment Women and Minorities 10-Day Training. Uh, let's see here. They have hands-on training to enter the high-demand construction industry as an entry-level equipment operator. By no means does this make you certain certified that you can get a job where you can jump right onto the big equipment. This is just basically a taste of it. Okay. To see if you like it. To see if you even want to pursue anything further with that. Okay. Um, but you're going to get to work on with wheel loaders, dump trucks, six wheel trucks, forklifts, and it is three 10-day programs. The first one starts on March 30th. Second one starts on May 11th. And the third one is June 8th. And they're, all three of them are 10 days long, and you have to be there for all 10 days. 
and the times are 8 to 5, basically, for an hour for lunch. Oh, and then we have an orientation before the March 30th one on March 27th from 9 to 10. So we can basically have people come in for that orientation to make sure that they qualify and make sure that they know the ones that do qualify, how to dress, what they're going to need for the first day. We want to have that website one more time. The one I just mentioned. The website? The website? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that's www.collegecentral.com slash Hawkeye College. And we had a caller, I believe, that wanted to hear the website information again, so we're just sharing that. And uh, we really appreciate our listeners and callers, too. It's fantastic to know that someone's out there actually hearing this information um, because then we know that when it's good information, we get people that actually share it with others, and so that helps get the word around because these are some fantastic programs. And so that's like you mentioned, it's free. And as we all know, sometimes something you know good doesn't last forever. So you have something this good and it's free, people take advantage of it while it's here. <laughs> well, and if you're interested in an application for this, you can pick them up at? at uh, the Martin Luther King Center at 515 Beach Street in Waterloo. And, um, and at the RTTC Center. And what's the address for RTTC? 6433 Hammond Avenue. Well, I just want to say that this is a fantastic opportunity for anybody that wants to get the entry level on the heavy equipment. Um, you know, when you can get a job, we help with applications and resumes too. So they're not alone in this. You know, we can we can help them get their their word out. You know, I'm looking for work to different contractors. Um, when they can start out in an entry level. A lot of them can start between twenty and thirty thousand dollars a year, so that's really good for just starting out. There's eleven yeah. percent job demand increase in this field just in the construction. I mean, these construction people want workers; they're just begging for them. So it's not like it's going to be really hard to find work. Um, some of the stuff we do when I, when we start, uh, you'll be in class at least three quarters of the day, I'll teach you the difference between some of the machines, what they do, how they work, uh, the do's and don'ts on them. Uh, what, then we go out and we have simulators that we can put you on. Instead of the real machines right away, you will get to set in a simulator and try that certain machine so you've got an idea of how it works and, and, and what to look for. And there's different assessments that you can do, different uh, holes you can dig and loading and unloading and, and loading the trucks and stuff like this. So uh, after that, you know, you kind of go with the pre-instruction, um, pre-inspections on the machines and stuff. So uh, it's a lot of work safety principles that I teach out there. I, I don't want anybody to be unsafe. It's, it's a lot of safety as far as I'm concerned. That's how to do things. And, and there's going to be a great knowledge when we get out there to work on stuff. I think they'll have a good time. Fantastic. And then Rachel. Yes, I will just mention the career fair once again. Uh, that is going to be held Wednesday, March 25th, from 2.30 to 5.30 p.m. on Hawkeye's main, camp main campus at 1501 East Orange Road in Waterloo. Again, there's going to be about 58 employers that will be present that day. Uh, so definitely dress to impress, bring your resume. Uh, if you have any questions regarding who's going to be there or how you can get prepared, uh, you can contact the Career Services Center at 319-296. Four two nine seven. Great, and then Celeste and Dale, who would uh, people contact if they want more information on your programs? They can just call the RTTC Center, the Regional Transportation Trucking Center, and it's three one nine two nine six four two eight six. And Mary usually answers the phone, and she can usually help them, or I can help them out there too. Fantastic. Well, I want to thank you all for being my guest this morning. You've shared some fantastic information. And, listeners, you heard this information here first, so take advantage of these great opportunities. And also take advantage of that great weather out there today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of this week. You've been listening to Opening Doors. Thank you. We only mentioned the dates once, and I didn't even dawn on me until you pointed at them. Oh. It's like, man, we have yeah.